822, we are back on the BT Couch. Two very special guests joining us. Christine Sinclair, you know her from your favorite women's national soccer team. She is our captain. And Valerie Hussey from the MS Society of Canada. You both here uh, are here for a very important cause. And Christine, I was just saying to you during the break, uh, this is a, a different message outside of soccer and a very personal battle yeah. for you. Tell us about the reality that your family has been facing. Yeah, so my mom was diagnosed with MS when she was pregnant with my brother, so some 36 years ago. And yeah, so my entire life I've, I've spent with my mom dealing with, you know, the effects of MS. And yeah, last year I did some work with the BC chapter of the MS Society and it was in that moment that I decided I want to be a part of this, so I think I can help. Well, it's a very personal reality, as Valerie's, I'm sure, with the uh, the, the patients and, and volunteers you've worked with. And we just saw a photo right there of Christine, your mom and your father. The decision, why come out and be an ambassador for such an important cause? I think I finally came to terms with it and being okay with it. I had to get permission from my mom. She was either going to tell me to zip it or be very supportive. And she says she's never been more proud. Um, so that was a huge relief because um, I needed her support. But I just felt with where the women's national team is, our status sort of here in Canada, that I think I could help make a difference, and it's something very important to me. Well, the awareness goes way, uh, way up. And Valerie, for uh, the awareness of MS in Canada, why is this a condition that is so prevalent? And uh, wh what do we know about the cure and the cause today? Well, uh, we wish we knew more. And the dollars through a campaign like this uh, and the partnership that the MS Society has with ANW will help to answer those questions. We don't know the cause of MS. We do know we call it Canada's disease because we have the highest rate of MS in the world. In Canada uh, and the uh, the kind of research that's going on here is extraordinarily high people come to Canada to do research because it's so well funded um, and so we're hoping to, to break, the, break that code and find a cure um, that's that's the goal that's what, the reason what about progress millions of dollars being raised which is fantastic when we see engagement but what has changed for how patients are treated and uh, helping improve their way of life in reality a lot 35, 36 years ago when Christine's mother was diagnosed, there was nothing. Today there are, I won't get the number right, but there are more than a dozen uh, disease modifying therapies that uh, when someone is diagnosed today, they'll be offered. So my son, who at 23 was diagnosed with MS, so when Christine was dreaming of going to the Olympics, my son was receiving a diagnosis of MS. Um, he's now 34, same age as Christine, and um, you wouldn't know he had MS on a day-to-day -day basis. He lives his life fully and well, and that's a result of the kind of research that's going on. And, and the research benefits more than just those therapeutic uh, um, undertakings toward a cure. It's also how does lifestyle affect people with MS? How does nutrition? Um, how does exercise? All of that is part of, of the research agenda, as well as support programs, uh, education uh, through the MS Society. Anyone can find out what they need to know. Um, and that takes lots it, uh, sadly, um, it doesn't just happen. It's, it takes resources. And so the, the uh, $9 million that's been raised through this uh, ANW campaign over eight years, this is our ninth year in partnership, has contributed a phenomenal amount uh, to, to all of that work across the country. Well, it's a big change. And Christine, for you, knowing that your mom uh, has lived an active lifestyle, she has been a huge support for you with your career. What is the reality you see today for your mom to, to really understand uh, how severe the condition is and how important it is for people to come up and help? Yeah, I mean, my reality now is my mom was, she was in a wheelchair when I was in college. That's when, that was the last time she walked. She's now in a care home. Uh, yeah wheelchair and in bed and you know it's tough to see because mentally she's as sharp as ever but physically her body has deteriorated you know to a point where you know she needs 24-hour care so it's, it's very hard to see what is this adversity that your mom has faced yeah. taught you about the way you look at life now I I have no problems in my life you know I you know, I think of days when at training or in games where oh, I'm tired, I don't want to, I have nothing to complain about. You know, she's, she's a wake up call for me for sure. And for anyone watching right now whose family is battling something similar that can relate to this struggle that you have right now, what do you say to them? Just, they're not alone. 
you know, there's thousands of families across Canada, you know, dealing with with MS, and they're not alone. And just, yeah, uh, just keep fighting. And uh, for your mom watching right now, what do you say to her? Just love you, mom. It's a great sentiment, and uh, I'm so proud to see you on board for something like this. And if you're watching at home and want to get involved, there's a chance for a meet and greet today over at A&W, uh, Broadway and Canby. What's happening at 1130, ladies? Uh, I'm going to be trying to make root beer floats, apparently. <laughs> 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 no guarantee on that. Yeah. We're confident she's going to do a good job. And tomorrow, $2 from every team burger sold goes to MS. And there are lots of other ways uh, as well. There are decals, one, two, and five dollar decals that you can buy. You can round up your bill at A&W. You can go online and donate, burgers to beat ms.ca. So everyone can contribute to this, whether you're touched by MS or not. You see what the effect is when you are touched by it. It's impossible to turn your back on it when you're touched by it. It's a great way to get involved. We'll put a hashtag on that, too. Two burgers to beat MS. Christine, thank you. Awesome. Thank Valerie, you. Thank you for being here and sharing thank you. all of this important information.